Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to discuss how long a battery will last when you're using it for ham radio in the field. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So I remember when I first started exploring powering a ham radio with battery and solar panels in the field, I would ask more experienced operators, how long is my battery going to last? And almost always I got the same answer. It depends. Well, while that's a truthful answer, and it really does depend, that's not very helpful for somebody just getting into the battery and solar game and wanting to take their radio out and work portable. So I thought what we would do today is we would try to explore that a little bit deeper and hopefully give you some simple math equations that you can use to determine how long you can use a battery in the field with your particular radio. So before we can start calculating things out, we're going to need to know a few pieces of information. First, what size battery do you have? What's its rating in amp hours? Next, we've got to look at our radio, the particular radio you plan on using. And we're going to need to know how much it consumes, how much power it consumes on transmit and how much power does it consume on receive? Now you can use a little meter like this, and I apologize, my green screen is actually taking out the screen of the, uh, of the meter, but I'll leave a link to one of these meters down in the description below. You can use one of these what's up meters, connect it to your radio, and look at what it's drawing on receive. Then you can set your radio to a certain power level, and repeat that test to see what the radio is consuming on transmit. And I would recommend that you do this at the varying power levels. So maybe uh, 5 watts, 10 watts, 50 watts, and 100 watts. That'll give you a pretty good spread to know how much uh, power you're going to be consuming from the battery at uh, pretty much any power level. We'll be close enough for the math that we need. Now, one other note before we dive into this. All of the math that I'm going to be doing today is assuming that you're using a lithium iron phosphate battery or LIFEPO4 battery. Uh, and with those, you're going to get somewhere around 90% of the rated capacity, uh, 90 to 100% of the rated capacity out of a given battery. So if it's a 10 amp hour battery, you can really expect to get uh, between 9 amp hours and 10 amp hours out of that battery. However, if you're using uh, the older technology like a gel battery or a sealed lead acid battery or SLA, then those batteries are different and you're only going to get 50% capacity out of those batteries. So if you've got a 10 amp hour SLA battery, you really can only expect to get five amp hours out of it. But let's go ahead and jump over to the whiteboard and see if we can work through this. Okay, before we jump into this demo here, I do want to mention there are some additional electrical theory laws uh, that do apply to this, and I'll leave links to those down in the description below. Uh, I'm not going to be covering those today. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible for someone that's basically just getting into the game. All right, so let's dive into this and let's hope that my math on camera works out correctly. First, we're going to assume that we have a 10 amp hour battery to work with. Now, let's assume that we're doing some sort of rag chew on the radio. Uh, one of the things we need to figure out is our transmit time, our receive time. And for this case here, we're also going to throw a Raspberry Pi into the equation as well. So during a rag chew, let's assume that we're going to be transmitting 10% of the time, which means we're going to be receiving 90% of the time. 
and then the pie is going to be running 100% of the time. The pie is going to run regardless of whether we're transmitting or not. Now, in this example, we're going to say that the transmit uh, of the radio is consuming 10 amps and the receive of the radio is consuming 1 amp. The Raspberry Pi from a 12 volt source draws roughly 0.3 amps or 300 milliamps. Now, if we start doing the multiplication here, uh, if we're using 10 amps 10% 10 of the time over the course of the hour, we're going to be consuming 1 amp. 90% uh, of 1 amp on receive time, multiply that out, and we're going to come up with 0.9 amp hours, or 900 milliamps. Uh, and then for the Raspberry Pi, remember it's uh, working 100% of the time at 0.3 amps, so that gives us 0.3 amp hours. Now, if we add all of this up together, we come up with 2.2 amps. This is how much power we're going to consume every hour. Now, if we're working with this 10 amp hour battery up here, all we have to do is divide this out. So if we take the 10 amp hours and we divide it by the 2.2 amps that we're going to be consuming per hour, you're going to come out with roughly 4.5 hours. So in this particular case, uh, using the math here, that 10 amp hour battery is going to last us 4.5 hours. Now let's take a look at another example here. Again, we're going to be using the 10 amp hour battery in this particular case. But this time, instead of a rag chew, let's assume that we're going to be doing a POTA activation or parks on the air activation. So this is going to work a bit different than the last one because I know from experience that uh, when I'm working portable, uh, or I'm sorry, I'm working a POTA activation, I'm going to be transmitting roughly 50% of the time. So if we take our transmit at 50%, and our receive is at 50%. Now this time I'm not going to put a Raspberry Pi into the equation because typically when I'm working uh, on a uh, POTA activation, I don't have a Raspberry Pi with me. But again, we're going to be assuming that on transmit we're drawing 10 amps and on receive we're drawing that one amp again. So if we multiply this out, what you're going to see is uh, for the transmit, over the course of an hour, we're going to consume roughly five amps. And uh, with our receive, we're going to be consuming 500 milliamps or 0.5 amps. So if we take those two numbers and add them together, we come up with 5.5 amps that we're going to be consuming over the course of the hour. Again, we take that 10 amp hour battery and we divide that by 5.5 uh, amps that we're going to be consuming per hour and we're going to come up with 1.8 hours of operating time. So as you can see it really does uh, depend on what type of operating you're using and what power level you're using for your radio in trying to figure out how long you're going to be able to stay on the air. Okay, so in the last uh, two examples, we have only been using this 10 amp hour battery. Uh, and in the last example, our uh, total amount of consumption over the course of the hour was 5.5 amps. Now, this time we're going to talk about what happens if we add a solar panel to this equation. Again, you're going to have to uh, kind of take a look at your solar panel and see what its output is. Uh, they can vary greatly between panels, uh, what the output is depending on the size, and even an individual panel uh, that you put into the field can vary as well because 
Uh, it, you're going to have uh, clouds coming and going as the day goes on. The sun is changing angles. There's lots of different variables uh, to go into a solar panel. But for this example here, we're going to assume that the solar panel puts out two amps of, uh, of power over a given hour. So to make this work out, we just need to subtract how much power the uh, solar panel is putting back into the battery while we're drawing this amount out. And when we look at that, we come up with 3.5 amps is the net that we're going to use during this particular hour. So if we do our math again, and we've got, uh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll do the 10 amp hour battery and we'll divide that by 3.5 amps per hour. We come out with roughly 2.85 hours that we can use the battery. So uh, we've jumped that up. If you remember uh, in the previous example, we only had 1.8 hours of operating time. So we've increased that operating time by roughly a full hour just by adding in the solar panel. So it does add one more level uh, that you've got to look at when, it, uh, when you do add a solar panel to it. But basically you're just looking for your net use over the course of an hour. If, you're, if you had a larger solar panel and let's say that uh, it was putting out seven amps per hour, then uh, you would actually not be using any of your battery over the course of that hour. Uh, the, the solar panel would be generating enough, uh, enough power that we didn't deplete the battery at all. So as you can see, how long that battery is going to last really does depend on a lot of different variables. And honestly, the absolute best thing you can do is to go out into the field with your setup and give it some field tests. The more time you spend operating in the field, the better idea you're going to have as to how long that battery will last. So hopefully uh, the math that I've given you in today's video will help you kind of get some rough calculations to know how long that battery is going to last. But guys, get out there, experiment, get into the field, and get on the air. We'll see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.